Okay, I'm at a mate's place now and uh, allow me to present to you the fantastic outdoors hanging from the ceiling 90s vintage computer. We hung this thing here, well I think it's about three years ago now and it hasn't been started for well soon a year actually and I've replaced the CMOS battery down there and hooked up all the cables. So let's see if this thing still runs. We got the power light. Acer. So the monitor still runs. Let's see if the computer does anything. It should start up automatically. It might not. Well, we do have a 5 volt standby LED. Let's see if we can find anything to turn it on with. Oh, it actually has a power button. Hard drive speeds up. There we go. We've got a picture. Whoa, look at all that RAM. Wow. Must be at least 256 megs. No, 192. Yeah, it hasn't had a battery for quite some time, but let's see if it'll boot. The hard drive's not sounding too fresh. Time and date not set. Press F1 to boot. Hey, there we go. It lives. Listen to the ball bearing spin. It should be set up to show the clock, although the clock's of course reset now. There you go. 4th of January 1980. One minute, 50 seconds past midnight. This is an old compact motherboard. It's got 500 megahertz, I think. Yeah, 500 megahertz Pentium 3 copper mines, lot 1. And apparently it's got a LAN card stuck in the heatsink. There's all that RAM, we saw it count. And a Fortran, Fortran slash source power supply, 300 watt. The fan got up to revs, although not a whole lot of power in there. ATI 3D Rage, no, Rage Pro Turbo or AGP graphics card and rusted old serial ports, nice oxidized aluminium heat sinks. The caps are still good though, it even has USB. I wonder how long this thing will run. I mean, it's been out here hanging from the ceiling for literally years. Goodbye.